This is amazing. Now we are going to find if Devin can scrape websites. MER.VIN is my website. I'm going to ask Devin to scrape the website and finally analyze the result. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about next testing for Devin. This is the question which I'm going to ask. Scrape all content from my website, mer.vin, and then each page should be in markdown file. Extract all required information from each page, then put all those markdown files in one folder and then zip it so I can download it. That is the task. In this video, we're going to see if Devin can efficiently extract the information as requested. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So after asking Devin to scrape my website, it did go through page one by one, as you can see in the browser. Next, it listed the list of steps it's need to follow, navigate to the website to scrape the main page contents, identify and scrape additional pages linked from the main page, convert each page into markdown, organize all markdown files in one folder, zip the folder and provide the zip file. So now we've got the detailed plan. So now we're going to see how it executed that. Next, it is browsing my category pages. I can see that it's going to different pages and converting that to a markdown file. You can see it is very detailed. So if you see the folder structure, it is dividing based on the category. Next, if you see the content, it extracted the author name, the poster date and the content. And it's very clear. It's able to identify the HTML structure. For those who done this before using Beautiful Soup, they know how it was done. And this makes things more easier where you are providing just the instruction and it was able to go and crawl the whole page and get all the relevant information and put down in the markdown format. So after going through a few pages, it started creating one by one. I can see it's going to each individual page and then saving that content. Finally, it is zipping the folder which contains all the markdown and I got the content here. Now I'm going to open this, extracted the content and I saw only six files there. But if I go and see the editor, same as before, I've got only six pages converted. So now I asked it to deep crawl the whole website and download all the pages from the website. Now it did go through the process again and got the zipped folder. Going to open this, still I didn't get many files downloaded. So I created a completely new session and asked the same question, but with detailed prompting. So I added, do a deep crawl, don't miss any pages. So now with more extra prompting, it started crawling the pages. And here, if you see, it got more number of extra pages compared to how it was before. It took really long time to go through all pages. And finally, it is ready for us to download. So now going to download the file. And these are the files. Now you can see all these files containing content and it's comparatively loads of pages. So here are the list of files which got downloaded. And here also it's very detailed and the information was clear. So if I see the total number of pages scrolled, so that is 183. But considering my website contains more than 1000 pages, so it's not to the full extent, but still it is much better than before. So what I did is I exported all the required URLs. I put that all in a markdown file and I uploaded that in Devin. Crawl all pages attached and save it in a markdown file and then zip it. So all the URLs are here. Then it did go through one by one. Then I got the markdown file here. Going to download it. And here are the list of content which got downloaded. So if I see the total number of pages, it is 746. So total number of uploaded URLs, 742. Probably it crawled a few more files and added that together. One more thing to note is that we might need to specific in regards to what or how the content need to be extracted. Because for each instance, the way it got extracted is different. For the first instance, this is how it got extracted with category, author, post, date, and all the content remains the same with my share icons and previous page. But for the second instance, it took the author name and the date and displayed it like this rather than in a separate section like this in previous. And this is how it is looking like now. And all the remaining content is the same. At the bottom, the social media icons and the previous article, next article looks like this. Next for the third instance, this is how it is looking like. So it actually crawled even the metadata, the robots.txt, other information. Then it extracted the page information 
with all the tags in it, as you can see here. So the better way to approach this is to clearly give in the prompt what type of things to extract and the type of structure or the template you want to extract. In that way, it is going to follow that template. There are more advancements to this. For example, if we are able to extract all this metadata, we can perform SEO analysis and optimize your website for SEO. So next, I'm going to try how we can optimize a site for SEO by extracting all the metadata using Devon. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.